for a full costume, sometimes that can range somewhere, let's say 3000 to... These look expensive. Yes, yes. Um, and it's because they're all handmade. These are not like mass-produced items. These are all individual artists or maybe very small teams that all hand make this stuff. Now, how what what kind of cost are we talking? Uh, these can range. Uh, my prices are, they're in a process right now because I'm working through my queue and when I'm done, my prices are going to be raised. But for, uh, if you're looking into a suit, it can really vary. You can find people who make, let's just take a head, for example. Some people will make a head under $1,000. Some people, you can find people that will make them for like 800 maybe, or even less if they're a beginning maker. For people who are professionals, as I, I call myself, you know, I'm a professional for a seat maker. A head for me is like uh, 2400 right now. There are people who you can charge more for heads based on how long they've been in the fandom and the demand that they have. Um, for a full costume, sometimes that can range somewhere. And again, it depends on what you want, but it can range from somewhere like, let's say, 3000 to, I've seen auctions go for like 10000 before. It really depends on who you're going through. And like I said, the demand is a huge part. Like, yes. is, okay, is there a difference in how much somebody is adopting it versus if they're just wearing the the head, the top, mm -hmm. versus the whole thing? Um, there are different kinds. So you have uh, a partial, and a partial suit is like maybe just the head, the hands, and the tail. Uh, sometimes that goes to arm sleeves and feet paws. Um, and then you have something like a three-fourths suit, which is kind of everything but the torso bit it's kind of like you get the legs the feet tail arms hands but you're lacking the torso bit i actually like to do that because that helps me regulate my temperature better um and then you have something you have the full suit which is the full costume and there's two types with that there is um plantigrade which looks like how a human stands right digigrade i can't say the word right digitigrade is imagine like if you pick an animal up to stand on its feet and you see how like their legs curve yeah i'm thinking of a dog right you pick a dog up and it's like it can't quite stand like that okay i know what you said right that's known as digitigrade and that is basically like you create the illusion that you're standing like a dog would and you have all this padding to create the illusion so you knew these were going to be coming right um yep do people have sex in the suits they have sex outside <laughs> of the suits how does this kind of work these, yeah, I know that these are the questions. Um, yeah, so so basically, keeping in mind again my my main principle of consenting adults and not hurting yourself or others, people people will engage in sexual stuff, you know, but that's their comfort levels. And for some people, I find this actually to be kind of cool. So as a fursuit maker, the fact that somebody will wear a suit and feel like sexy, attractive is the biggest compliment I could ever get. Like, I made something that makes you feel good and sexy. Like, that's awesome. Hell yeah. So if you if you want to do the things and stuff, you can go do the things and stuff. It ain't much my business. But as the maker, like, then how do you, how do you design? Like, I so there, there's a hole or a zipper or like? <laughs> there, there's different things that people can do. Like, uh, from what I understand, there's like, um, uh, like zippers that can be added and stuff like that for, for people who want to engage in that side of it. Um, I don't really know too many more of uh, the like alterations that people do. I know that there's different ones for different makers, but yeah, I mean, and, and it, you know, with suits, you can, it can be very customized for what you want, basically. The question that I keep just keeps popping back into my head over and over again mm -hmm. is it just feels like it would be hot. <laughs> so warm it is so toasty it is uh it's a it's a very um warm hobby <laughs> because yeah getting into a suit and depending on what kind of suit you have can definitely make it warmer or cooler for you and um yeah i gotta say i i think this past weekend at uh free week in atlanta i probably sweated out my my body weight <laughs> just because of how hot it was there <laughs> 